everyone, it's Brian here. Today I'm coming on to do week one of the fall collab with myself and Alicia over Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. And both weeks, this week and of course next Sunday, September 13th, the theme is going to be Anything Goes as far as, you know, crafter's choice. So, as long as it's fall related. So, what I'm making today is something you all may have seen so many times before. Well, I'm going to do this because I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but I just have not gotten to it yet. It is basically turning this one sheet of 12x12 scrapbook cardstock into an entire mini album. So what we're going to do first is we're going to score at 3 inches, and then again at 6 inches, and then again at 9 inches. Flip it over, 90 degrees, or whatever. Three again. Six again. And nine again. Okay, so now, what I had a little problem with this a few minutes ago, trying to cut this with my Cricut. Trevor, it's not that it doesn't work, it's just I feel very uncomfortable kind of doing like this. So I'm going to try this a different way. If this doesn't work this time, I'm just going to try to do it with an X-Acto knife. But right here, that's where we're going to start at this 3 inch line. We're going to line it right up to here. I'm going to start at the 3 inch mark on here. Let's scroll down, or cut down, I mean. Go make sure this is nice and lined up. And we're going to start a 9 inch mark on this one and go up. And now, this time, we're going to line this up at 9 inch mark. And put once again three inch mark and slice down. So basically what we have here is what looks like a big old huge overgrown letter M. So how are we gonna do this, you say? That's what I'm here for. We're gonna start memory serves me right, we're gonna start folding like this. Corian folding technically. Try to keep these crisp fold lines. And I tell you what, I'm actually going to write on this pull out, I don't know, write the word front or something like that. I think that'll work. Make sure it didn't bleed through, and it did not. Okay, good. That's a little off balance. It's not that bad. Yeah, I need to do a better job next time, I think. I think the problem is I did not cut exactly perfectly straight. That is probably what the problem is here. There's nothing I can do about now, unfortunately. Except hope this turns out well. One of my dies just fell off the desk. I'm sure you probably heard that. Okay, so. We're almost there. We are almost there, y'all. And as soon as I'm done folding this up, I'm going to turn the camera off. And I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the materials ready for the rest of this project. And come back on. 
Okay, so what we have here now is this is going to be the front. This is going to be the back. So we want to strike this out. Okay, so front and back. And I'll be right back. We're going to make this thing. Okay, so now I'm back. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to first, I need to get everything ready by, let's see. This is going to be the front. So what we're going to do is first page we're going to put up to do like that and let's see here I think this is gonna be the right way I hope so let me think this through yes it's gonna be the right way And what we're going to do is that we're not only going to have like little scrap of pages, we're also going to have these little pockets here. So we can make little tags or whatever you, you want to put in there like little, you do embellish paper clips, tags, pictures, knickknacks, whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is grab this little bottle of some art glitter glue and... Go along the tape lines. And we're not covering up this side because this side's already got the crease on it. So we don't really need to do that. So right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and find that Cricut scraper. Here it is. Burnish and burnish. It looks like it's going to do just fine. Okay, so now, see we got that one page done. It's going to have a little top loading pocket. Now, this is the next page we're going to just do right here, right here. And that, no, 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 no. Let me think here. Okay, so, flip, flip. Flip. Okay, let me think here. Yeah, we're gonna want this one to be a side folding. So, yes. Well, let me think about that again. I've totally forgotten how to make these. I'm sorry. So, we got that. That's a full page. This will be a full page. We could do it either way, I guess. And then, after that one, the next one's going to be a top loading. And then, that next one will be side loading. Okay, so I got this. It's going to be a top. I'm going to make this one a top loading, I think. I hope this works. And if not, y'all have me to blame. Well, you probably wouldn't because you probably wouldn't see this video if it didn't work. Okay, so... I'll flip this on up. Move that out of the way. Burnish with the scraper. So I've got some good connections here so far. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to stick this bone folder in here. Now one's good. And number two is... 
good as well. So now we're going to go for page three, which is going to be another top loading. So we're just going to put along here and here this time, the tape and the glue, that is. burnish take off strips and glue and glue burnish burnish again we're almost halfway there it looks like so that is good so we see this one here. This one's going to be side loading. There's no doubt about it because that's cut off. I mean that is, you know, there's no opening there. So that will be the one that will be a side loading pocket. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape on the left side and on the bottom. Burnish, burnish. Take off the strips, take off backing, whatever you want to call it, glue and glue, and now I'm going to find where we're at again, we're right here I'd say, okay, cool, take that off a little more. Like I said already, we're about halfway there, I would say. Make sure that's got good connections in there. Yep, it sure does. Okay. So next, our next move is to, okay, do another one like this. And a left. Okay, sorry. We'll make sure we're doing it right. Okay, left and bottom this time with tape. And burnish, burnish. Take off the backings. more glue on here and the reason I'm doing this is a step-by-step -step tutorial because some people may find this easy some people may find it more difficult obviously I found this more difficult today because I had not made one of these in a long time and I never really caught on how to make it completely perfectly in the first place ever so that's why I'm doing the full step by step here today. I'm going to do left and right on this one for the uh, for the tape and glue. It's going to be another top loading. In fact, I'm pretty sure the only side loading pocket will be in the middle of the journal. we got one more to do after this I may be wrong I may be right I'm not sure we'll find out soon enough make sure this has got a good connection in there oh yeah it does yes it does we're good okay so like I said one more to go one 
more to go and this will be a bottom and right side Now we're going to put this down and burnish one more time for this part. And there's we go. We got a book here so far. It looks pretty good so far. So what we're about to do is I'm not going to decorate it completely. I might not even decorate any. For this project, I may actually decorate later and post on my Instagram and do a separate project share of this on YouTube. I'm not so sure yet or not whether or not I'm going to do that. But what we're going to do right now is going to take this. We're going to cut it four by four. Well, yeah, we should do four inches by four inches. We got three and a quarter inch square pieces here, two of them. This is going to be our front and back cover. And this was just from an old pizza box from Walmart. Frozen pizza box. Goes to show how you can make things and, and cool stuff. Okay, so we're going to cut this four inches. And four inches. What I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do like, no, I'm not going to go pre-score everything, but I will actually put everything down the best I can. But I'm going to think of this here. So, let's see. I may actually do a little some, some of this first. I just want to make sure I can do this correctly. So I'm going to put this about 3 8 here. And we got about three eighths. Okay, yeah, so we might score about like three eighths of an inch or so on all four sides. This is just for grins. If it doesn't work, I'll keep it on here. Show y'all not to do it this way. Okay, so what we're going to do now is burnish down, burnish down, burnish down, and burnish down. Now we're going to get these little parts off, little squares at the ends. Let's see how this fits. It's gonna fit almost, not quite right. So we're not gonna bother with that. I'm gonna toss this piece out or else so you can use it for something else. I'm going to take this, cut it four inches. And I'll be right back in just a minute. Alrighty, so now I did a little bit of thinking. Now I'm gonna just wing this pretty much. Get a little bit of art glitter glue here. Put it on here. There's we go. And here we 
go. And that's pretty much on. So what we can do now is we can fold over on all four sides. In my opinion, we could put a little backer piece on here, which I may do. But it's I don't, I don't think it's going to be like completely necessarily mandatory that we do that. But I might do that anyways, you know, just for grins. But you probably wouldn't have to if you don't want to. Now, I'm not going to worry about putting these little triangles on in this case. Because I'm just going to cover whole square on this side with cardstock when I'm done and before I put it on there Can go opposite sides first when it's obviously not even up, I do the longer sides than the shorter sides. But in this case, I'm just going to do this side any the opposite way. And then, same thing on the other, going the other ways. There we go, we got one done. Now we're going to do the other one. If I can find the other piece. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same things I did before. Gonna put it down, try to get it as even as possible. Then fold, 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 and clip the corners. Go ahead and do this side first. So if you've made it so far in this video, why don't you leave me a comment in the comment section down below below just tell me you know what y'all's favorite fall memories are like it could be childhood adulthood it could be anything you know as long as it's your favorite autumn memory i think that'll be a great subject to discuss in the description box i mean in the description box in the comment section in this video i'm gonna try to start doing more of these interactive comment video things I think that may help us engage more into you know conversation you know help us learn a little more about ourselves you know if you want to do that you don't have to if you don't want to but it is most certainly an option if you wish to okay what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna 
put some orange behind these. And this was the first, this was the first one I started. As you can see, it actually went a little too far. What I'm going to do now is cut down to here. this in half. I'm going to glue this down. Actually, this one turned out pretty well on the back. In my opinion. And now we're going to do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to have to wrap up soon. So I'm going over to my sister's, one of my sister's houses to do some Labor Day barbecuing a day early. And go meet my niece at the same time. Then meet my other sister as well. Brothers-in-law and everybody. In fact, my sister, whose house we're going to, is her, her husband's parents are there too. Which, they're awesome people, I tell you what. They're really awesome. And I can't wait to see them again. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is try to do this right. Got that cap on. I did not recall doing that. Okay, what we're going to do now is lay this down like so. Hope for the best. Okay. Let's see how this is going to work here. It does a little, look a little off, but you can, of course, always cover this and the back cover up as well. That's not a problem at all. But yeah, I've been filming for almost half an hour now, so I'm just going to get off here as soon as this is on. Well, I just want to make sure I got going the right way. Okay, I think this is the right way. I hope so. Because if it's not, oh my gosh, I don't even want to know what I'm going to think. We got both sides matching. Okay, we're going to mark this front and back, I guess. See that? I did a terrible job on this one. So I'm going to have to really cover this up. See, I mean, this is horrible. So I'm going to cover this up before too long. I mean, it looks like it matches up pretty well on the outside. But we must remember, though, we did have a little uneven edges here in spots so I'm not too totally worried about it but let's see I'm going to find some here real quick to put on the front to mark it as the front I think I'm going to use this looks like some autumn colored flowers Um, this could just be temporary, it could be permanent, who knows. All I'm doing this for right now is to make sure that I know that this is the front cover. In fact, I'm going to put it up here. So, I hope you all had a great time. Hope to see you all again soon. 
have a blessed day, everyone. bye.